So here we are in 2018, and there's still plenty of talk about how democracy has died. I mean, the Washington Post, they use as their slogan now, democracy dies in darkness. And there's just this sense that no matter what, uh, there's going to be a system in place that doesn't work for the people. That the system needs fixing because... It gave us Trump, <laughs> but not just Trump. It gave us Hillary Clinton. So those two party leaders were very unpopular, very much not what the American public wanted. So then how can you call that democracy when the choices are limited to things people don't want? So the lesser of two evils prank, that needs to change We've been going through that so many decades now, and people are just getting tired of politicians promising something and then ending up just being buds with big biz and then throwing crumbs to the people. That's what happens just about every time. So people need to just be aware that they have power beyond voting. In fact, voting is probably the least of your powers because you don't know if your vote's going to count. Every state has their own rules deciding whether or not your vote is legit or not, and they don't make that a big deal. So, for all you know, you, you, none of your votes have ever counted. So, that's just something to think about. Democracy is in question. Obviously, the Electoral College didn't match the popular vote in the 2016 election. Same way with the 2000 election. And a lot of people are upset that that's not really democracy. And I could see that. I mean, but either way, uh, you know, people forget that uh, Hillary Clinton did not get 50% of the vote. She got like 48% to... Trump's 45%. So they were both plurality candidates, meaning neither had a majority. So democracy really is supposed to mean majority rule. Majority does not mean whoever gets the most votes. It means whoever gets more than half the votes. And so that's why we have the Electoral College to ensure that somebody gets more than half the votes. And Unfortunately, that was Donald Trump in 2016, uh, but who knows, that may have been some kind of bizarre blessing in disguise because we've got 2020 coming up and anything can still happen, right? If, if 2016 happened, that means anything can happen. So anyway, here's a song I wrote about how democracy is still within our power. We just need to reach for it more. This song's called Let's Restore Democracy. Let's restore democracy. Let's not let the system collapse. Let's see through hypocrisy. Let's not fall in circular traps. Inform yourself. Reach for higher ground. Feel the power of Let's inform society, let's let people have their say, let's invest in world peace, let's not throw our dreams away, let's restore democracy, let's restore democracy, let's restore democracy, let's restore democracy. Respect diversity, no more war, let's all be free, let's protect the university, let's restore democracy, let's restore democracy, let's restore democracy, let's restore democracy, 
Let's restore democracy.